welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pack with me video and this is how I like to pack and I have been on many holidays over the recent years and I feel like a bit of a professional when it comes to packing so if you want to pack like a pro then watch my video because this is what works for me, this is what stops me from overpacking and I just think it's a really good system so if you want some ideas and tips and tricks and skadoodles of how to pack your suitcase a bit nicer and a bit more organized then keep watching let's just get into the video hope you enjoy it and yeah let's go so the first thing I like to do is make a list. I always make a list whenever I'm packing anything. I like to put my list into sections, so like evening wear, day wear, and then it just makes me feel like I'm not going to forget anything and I can just tick off the list as I go. I also then write a list of all like other bits apart from clothes, like the things that I'm going to want to put in my suitcase as well, like more so the chunkier stuff and the more important stuff like money and passport. Up into the loft I go to go and retrieve my suitcase of choice and um, I didn't want to take a big suitcase this time because we're not actually taking the suitcases on the plane. My dad's driving there with our dog, we're going to France by the way, um, and dad's going to take the suitcases so I wanted to take quite a small suitcase because obviously he's got to fit all of them into the car and this one's probably a little bit bigger than a hand luggage size so it's not big at all. So I choose to lay everything out on my bed before I pack my suitcase and top tip is use some packing cubes because you can fit so much more into your suitcase with some packing cubes, it is crazy. So when I pack I always start with evening wear and I'll pile them all into outfit choices and then I'll tick them off my list as I go just to make sure I have everything, I count up the amount of outfits I have for the amount of days that I'm going to need them for and then I pile them all into a packing cube. The good thing about packing cubes is that you can really squish loads into it and try and like squish it down and zip it up and it kind of just saves so much space in your suitcase. thing I put in is my towel. I'm gonna need like a towel for around the pool so I just chuck that into the bottom of the case and then I kind of just roughly put in my packing cubes for now but then I'm gonna take them out later and rearrange them all. Next comes up is my day wear so I pile them out just like I did my evening wear onto the bed. These are all my tops that I'm going to be taking and then I'll fold them up nicely, put them in the packing cube and then you've just got a whole packing cube worth of day wear so it's just easy when you come to want to wear something you can just take out your stuff that you need need. With my bulkier items like my denim shorts and my jeans and stuff I like to put at the bottom of my suitcase and then that way they don't take up too much room in the packing cube because when you fold them up they get quite bulky. So there's some things I like to roll and there's some things I like to fold like i.e. t-shirts and stuff I like to roll them up because they kind of just go really skinny and flat and then I can put like the bulkier stuff in the middle of them that I fold. So this is the section of my suitcase that I don't hold back on and I mean any girl isn't going to hold back on their bikini section because I mean you're going to have to have enough bikinis in your suitcase that you feel confident in so why not take them all just in case you don't like some of them you have backups. <laughs> So ideally you would only really need to take like two or three bikinis and I probably would only wear like two or three of these but I pack them all because the reason I buy bikinis is for holidays and this is a holiday so I'm taking all my bikinis. So my last and final packing cube is for underwear. I put all my bralettes and underwear in here and it actually takes up a whole packing cube because you don't realise how much space it takes to be honest. So next up is the bits I find really annoying to be honest. Um, it's just like 
shoes, chunky stuff, hair dryers, curlers, and I just sort of placed these in the bottom of my suitcase, which will be under the packing cubes, because they're just chunky, they just fill up so much space, but there's nothing you can really do about it. If I go on holiday to like a resort, they normally have hair dryers and stuff there, so I don't really need to take a hair dryer, but this time we're staying at like a villa, so I'm gonna need a hair dryer. And then I just chuck everything neatly into the spaces that they fit in, basically. So now the annoying chunky stuff is all packed neatly into my suitcase, I can start putting in my packing cubes and I like to squeeze them in as tight as I can so that I have space for my toiletries. You can see I've got a nice gap in the corner where I can put my toiletries and my makeup bag. Next I sort out my makeup, I take a little, they're called laundry pouches but I just put my makeup in it because it's waterproof and if anything spills it doesn't get messy. I sort out all makeup I want to put in and then I will put it into the bag in the order that I put it onto my face so that I know that I'm not going to miss out on anything because I've done this before where I've just chucked all my makeup in thinking I've got everything and then I forgot like something that I really really need so if I put it in in order it's just very organized and it helps not forget anything so makeup done now onto toiletries I normally like to put my shampoo and conditioner into like smaller bottles so they don't take up as much room but this time I didn't actually have any of those smaller bottles so I'm taking the big bottles but it's okay because I get to share with John and he gets through tons of shampoo and conditioner I then put in my deodorant some cotton buds my brush and just little bits like that into this bag and like tweezers and stuff and and then I'm chucking in a little adapter because that is necessary when you go on holiday don't forget your adapters guys final few bits I've just got some face wipes a razor and then some girly bits I like to depackage the stuff and just spread it out throughout the suitcase so it's not so bulky and we are pretty much done so we've got a whole packing cube of our evening stuff we have a packing cube with our day wear our favorite packing cube which is the bikini packing cube an underwear one and then we've got our makeup and our toiletries this suitcase is quite a small suitcase as well so to fit all of that into it is pretty good I then like to make one final list and this is just things that I can't put in my suitcase yet but I don't want to forget to put in at the last minute, things like my toothbrush, stuff like my phone chargers and just bits and pieces that I'm going to be using up until I go but I can't put in yet but I just don't want to forget them. And voila, we are complete. This is how the suitcase looks. All nice, organized, tidy. I love it when my suitcase is tidy because it just makes you feel so much better when you get there and you know that you've got everything. Then it's just my little list that I have to put in extra. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you got some tips and tricks and inspiration from this video. Um, yeah, so the only thing I need to sort of do now is just have my little last pieces and bits and stuff that I can't actually put in there yet because I'm going to use them. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a little comment if you have any other tips or tricks that you would like to share with me. And I will see you all very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye. Oh yeah, nobody even cares Even though I thrash around It seems I'm invisible